I have all of my extended motor phase wires uh, ready to go. I cut them to length to where I want to wire them to the controller and as you can see I already got my heat shrink prepared and ready on the wire sleeved down so once I solder them I can sleeve it back over to the connection and heat them down and isolate them. So after I get the controller wired in I'll be able to fire it up temporarily on my uh, 30 amp Andersons that I have temporarily put onto my positive and negative of my battery side on the controller and we can give it a couple test runs. Now before I mount any of the batteries I'm going to be obviously giving it a couple discharges and as you can see right here I got a 5 amp hour LiPo pack that puts out 84 volts. It's uh, 20 cells in series. Uh, also I have a 100 volt digital meter that will display the voltage of my bike that I'm going to be probably mounting on the top tube of my stem here. I just need to find what type of materials that I want to make the housing out of and then obviously make the housing and then waterproof it. That's going to be the hardest part is because the screen can't get wet. There's a very cheap little unit on uh, off of eBay from China that uh, you just power it with one cell of lithium and then it puts out your voltage on the other two wires. So after we get the controller wired up, we'll be able to fire it up with the LiPo and see what happens. Also, I don't think uh, anybody saw this torque arm finished up. I got the Allen bolt going through it onto the back side with a stainless steel cap nut. And I also got it touching slightly right on my frame there. Okay, so I'm finishing up my connections from my motor to my controller. I have all the five hall sensor wires already done, and I'm going to be doing my phase wires next. I haven't heat shrinked them yet. I'm just, uh, my soldering iron's still plugged in and ready to go. Now, what I'm doing now is because I have a golden motor and I have a Lion controller, I have to switch some of the colors around on my hall sensors and my phase wires. I found out that the green and the yellow needs to swap on both sides. So I already swapped them on my hall, and now I'm going to be swapping them on my phases. So I'm going to be putting the green from my motor to the yellow of my controller, and obviously the same with the, the opposite. So let's see how it goes. I also needed to uh, have a little flat working surface to put pressure against when I was soldering my hall sensors, so I used a piece of that aluminum stock that I have kicking around, and I just C-clamped it to a little table I'm working off so I can get it right under the bike, under the controller, and put some pressure on it. Works out pretty good. All right, and there you have it. All of my connections from my motor to my controller are soldered and heat shrinked. I doubled up the heat shrink with a larger size on my phase wires just in case they shorted out with each other. And it's very thick and very glued on there tight. I like the results. I think it's going to come out good. Well, now all i got to do is temporarily uh, wire up the throttle and hook it, hook it up to this LiPo battery pack and see if we can get a test run going. Okay, so I got the bike propped up and ready for a test run. i got to just clamp down to the table with the 2x4 and the wheel, I mean the uh, seat post resting on it, so the wheel's up off the ground. And i got my throttle connections. I think they're right, but I just kind of guessed on them because the coloring's different. But I just matched from red to red and then just guessed color color wise with the other two. And let's see if it works. I got my lipo pack here. I got the negative hooked up. I'm going to hook the positive up, but it might uh it's probably gonna spark on me. I'm gonna put the camera down to do that though. Hold on a second. A little spark there. All right, now let's see if it works. Let's see what happens.
Wow, it's going so fast. I'm not even at full speed yet. It's just shaking the table. It's a little off true. Holy crap. Whoa! <laughs> that was full speed. There you go. No load wheel speed. I don't know what it is right now because I still don't have my cat I hooked up. But that is pretty darn fast. <laughs> That's much faster than the 48 volt system, I can tell you that right now. Alright, well, that's it for now. Let's see if I can finish up these connections and get ready to finish my second battery pack build. Still waiting for my heat shrink to come in, so for now I'm just going to be using these test LiPos. They're a lot more powerful though, even though they're generic. They still put out more of a C rating can probably draw 50 amps from these. Even though they're 20C rated, they're generic, so they'll probably only pull about 8C. Okay, so I reconfigured my LiPo packs, and I just put some masking tape, nice and cheap and ugly, just taping them around the frame temporarily, just so I can get the bike up and running. <laughs> and, yeah, it's fast. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. If 84 volts doesn't give you an EV grin, I don't know what will, because... I mean, right when you touch the first little band on the throttle, it just jolts you back, and you can definitely lift up the front wheel just by giving it a little half throttle. So, it's definitely got some pep. You can, on this concrete, you can blow it sideways, no problem. It's pretty fun. But, now all I have to do is finish my second battery pack, and get everything else mounted in here. I'm hoping that the laptop cells will draw the current I need. This controller only really needs about 32 amps. But these LiPo packs definitely deliver the performance I need. Maybe I'll buy four more of those. We'll find out. But for now, this is Scott, signing out.